Hello everybody and welcome back to Neptune's Rings. We're here today with a new game for the channel, Space Engineers. Oh, I should actually see where I'm landing. Um, yeah, this seems reasonable. Perfect landing. A little skills. Okay, so we're here with this new game, Space Engineers. Um, it's a game I've had for a little while. I enjoy it, and um, they've had some new updates recently, so I figured that was a good time to play it, as well as you know, a little variety. We'll have a little fun uh, building a base, um, escaping the atmosphere, going to space. You know, building ships, why not? But um, so let's get started. We're going to first. We're going to need to get a base started. Oops. Um, let's just see where we're at relative to everything. We're nice and high up on the mountains. That's about all I can see. Um, so anywhere really will be a good starting spot for a base. We should maybe down there. But we're going to build close to our little landing ship here just so we don't have to run back and forth to have parts crafted up. So, in this game, Basically, goal is to survive, and to do so, you build up a base and ships to go mine, um, mine minerals, metals to build bigger ships and bases, and eventually just explore um, a procedurally generate infinite world. Well, I guess not world, but um, universe, because this is a world, a planet, and then you can go off planet into space, obviously space engineers. And um, from there you can mine asteroids, you can visit other planets, you can um, have NPC traders spawn in, or NPC ships spawn in, I guess they're not technically traders. Um, and um, you can play multiplayer as well as friends, so you can have giant bases going, factions set up, um, depending on how big your server is or if you're in an already set up server um, and eventually um, you can obviously put weapons, missiles, guns on your ships and you can have giant space battles and everything that comes with that Oops. Okay. so while I've been talking we've been mining up this stone here so we can have it start producing Sorry, parachute hatch, small content. Yeah, it should start. Oh, I gotta tell it's producing it. That's right. Like I said, it's been a very long time since I've played Space in years. Um, last time, like I played fairly regularly, was before they added planets. So that was quite a while ago. At least a couple years, I think. So it's been a while, so there's a few newer mechanics to me that may not be new to everybody. But we'll figure it out, we'll build a nice little base, and we will engineer in space eventually. Um, it's going to take us a little while to get there, but we'll get there. Oops. First goal we're going to have, though, is we are going to want to set up... Oh, wow, it uh, took care of that stone quite quickly. We're going to want to, what can I make, I want a bunch of these, i going to make those first, just because I want to start making our base, and it's just going to probably start, mm -hmm. oh, maybe we're here at the top of this little hill, I'm trying to find something that's somewhat flat, this is somewhat flat, it's a little bit farther from our base than I prefer, but I'd rather the flatness than it being super close to our base. So you can see have our blocks that we can build with, but we cannot place it because we don't have any of the components to place it. So we're just going to run back over here and grab those components real quick. We're going to fly back actually. And that's why I built these. So, here we go. Fly, fly, fly. And this will be 
the starting of our base and we want to get this up and running sooner rather than later because we're going to want to get power sorted out soon. I probably could build this higher up on the hill. And because it's generally cheaper and probably going to be a little bit more power from it for our price point we're going to build a wind turbine to start off with which actually will get a bonus from being stacked higher up. I believe there's like an 8 block. Um, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah. There's like a 8 block distance barrier that you're going to want to keep it to make sure that it's most you efficient. Low. It could be wrong about that, but there's there's a block limit. The higher up, the more effective it is as well if, if, if the wind, quote unquote wind, is blocked by something else like another wind turbine or your base then that's going to affect the power output um, I was looking for fuel excuse me okay I guess I can't get that out of there there we go now I'll refill my jetpack um, some of y'all might have noticed I have the player inventory up at 4,000. It's, um, I have all the inventories up, I believe, at 10 times normal limits. I think they're, yeah. Just so that we don't get bogged down having to run back and forth for multiple trips, because some of these components are really heavy. So I figure that will just make our lives a little bit easier. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to continue to make some of those because those will be incredibly important. As well as I'm going to build this a little bit taller. I know I said 8 tall, but we're eventually going to want to build our base upwards. So, okay. We're eventually going to build a base upwards, so I figure it'll be good to just have that a little bit higher than 8. That's a little bit right. Okay, what does this need? Interior plates. Ah! I was doing a test game, and um, I built I built a nice little rover and a um, a mining ship, and everything was going well. And on the maiden voyage of the on the maiden voyage of the mining ship. I um, forgot that slowing down is a thing, so I crashed straight into the side of a mountain, and somehow the only thing that got seriously damaged was the battery on it, so my mining ship was crippled immediately. Ah! So we'll see uh, how this uh, game goes. Let's see, seven, no, place, place that, not like that, there we go. Okay, you can see it's going to need motors, construction components, girders, and computers. Let's go see if we can build those. Ah! Let's see. Um, we're going to need some motors, some girders, construction components, and computers. That should be enough, maybe? Let's see. But we're out of iron ingots right now, so we have to go mine some more. Let's go do that real quick. And right now, since we, um, at least not that we're aware of, there aren't any actual ore deposits near us. We're going to have to just be mining stone and refining that down to get the ingots that we need. And unfortunately that's not terribly efficient. As you can see you get all these ingots, yes, but at much lower quantities than if you had had like an actual iron deposit nearby. I'm going to do a quick little fly around and see if I can find some actual ore deposits. I'm gonna 
imagine they're terribly far away, but this um, this drill has a built-in ore detector, and it doesn't have the greatest range. You can see you can find the ice, but I mean that's super easy to find. It's everywhere, at least in this biome. Um, the test game I did, I was in a very snowy ice biome by an ice lake, and there were no resources anywhere nearby. Oh my god. So I'm hoping this time around we'll have some deposits a little bit closer to us. A little bit more easy to come by. But I'm not seeing any as of now so we're just going to continue to mine out the stone and refine it that way and we'll work on a ship or something to help us get um, oops, don't want that off. a ship to help us get the uh, an ore detector on it and hopefully find the resources that we need you just nope I need you to go last now I need these other things to be built thank you though I appreciate it while it's going, I'll just go ahead and mine up some more stone, um, just so that we can or have a continuous supply of um, stone being refined down into other kits. Like I said, that's going to be a quick issue. That's why one of our first goals after building our base and getting power sorted out is to going to be making a mining vessel of some sort, or at least a a mobile site to mount a ore detector onto. Just ooh, where am I? Got a little lost. Yeah. Yeah. See, ideally what I would like to do is build a little rover and or not a little rover, a large grid rover, which is just big blocks like these, not those little blocks. Um and put a large ore detector on it because I believe it has a 150 meter, 200 meter range on it, um, which will be much better than the small grid detector. But being on this mountain, I'm not entirely sure how comfortable I am driving a rover over all these hills. Would hate to lose it. But you know what? We might just end up doing that anyway because that's going to be the easiest and quickest way to get us started instead of um, at least finding the ores because otherwise we will just struggle finding ores still even if we had a ship to mine them out but we will get to that in time first we got to get this base going get some power sorted out are we still making production no we're not we need more iron Really out of iron already? Guess we are. Let's go mine some more stone. Yeah, when in the beginning it's gonna be a lot of stone mining to get um, the resources required to actually build these components because like I said, without actual ore deposits you get much much less for each um, unit that you turn in. So I'll probably actually just go ahead and bring y'all back after I have a good amount of stone ready and the components to build that wind turbine and we'll start playing out the rest of the base and the components that we need. I'll see y'all then. Hey everybody, welcome back. I just finished up a little bit mining, let the um, assembler in there. Yeah, let the assembler in there build up the parts to that I needed for the wind turbine. And while I was waiting for those to build up, I went ahead and started laying out a bit of our beginning base design. I have a basic assembler here with a basic refinery, which will allow us to craft a little bit faster as well as to craft a little bit more like different items that we're not able to craft in the survival kit that we have on there. As well as I put a battery here in the floor because we're going to need to start storing this power somehow. So that will be very important for us to have. Let's finish this up and get things powered. You can see there on the little the bottom right there with all the components there's that functional slash hack line. You gotta get it above there for it to actually technically be working. And 
once it's there you don't have to finish building it per se so, so a lot of times there'll be some components that you don't need to technically have the thing functioning and working but it's good to have anyway because then that'll prevent it, you from losing that um, in this case the wind turbine if it were to take damage somehow so I just bit, went ahead and built it all the way up because I had all the components so might as well and while we're here we're going to build some where are they you know what? I might not be able to do it here. Yep. I was going to build some power cells, but it looks like we're going to need the basic assembly for that because the, um, the survival kit doesn't seem to have the capabilities. You can see we're going to need a lot more components to finish this up. We're going to need a lot more construction components and a few more displays and a lot more computers. Just fine. And a lot more steel plates for the refinery. Whew. Told you those were going to be important. Ow. Let's see if I can remember what we need. We needed four displays, so I'll have ten of those made. We needed like 50 computers and like 30 construction components. So I didn't get those producing. Well, as a producer, I'm going to go back down in here and mine a little bit more, because I'm eventually going to need it. And there's no real point in just waiting around, so might as well do something productive. Boy, I cannot wait to find a good iron deposit. And generally when you're, when you're out mining and surveying for deposits, um, they generally come in clumps of three. So if you find a deposit with only like iron, then if you look around a little bit, you'll probably find some other um, ore deposits as well. I also want to go check out that unknown signal because I know you can get like special loot drops from them as well as they'll give you components. Or you can salvage components from them by just tearing them apart, which will... It's always nice, but not necessary. Rocks. I think that's grass up there. You can see the slight green, which means we should start trying to go a little bit deeper, because the deeper you are, to a certain extent at least, the better your stone quality is, if that makes sense. If you're on the top and you're mining just the grass layer, then you're going to get a lot of dirt and not a lot of stone. Well, these little chunks of stone are going to be a lot less because there's not actually dirt. But if you're deeper and you're actually in the rock layer, then you'll get more stone out of them. That's what we want. We don't want to be wasting our time down here mining. Probably tell I'm not the most, um, that's not the one I wanted. Dexterous person. Dexteritous? Dexter. Where am I going? Where am I? Why am I not stopping? That was super weird. I think I just kept on bouncing and not slowing down. Super weird. Okay, we'll finish this up and we can actually We could move all of our ores and ingots over here and start producing things in this assembler and it'll be a little bit faster. But we don't have the refinery here, so we'd have to carry stone into the survival kit over there. Wait for it to finish and then bring the ingots over here and then put them in here and have them constrict things. Just a little bit Slow and inefficient, not ideal. Okay, we need 20 construction points and 10 motors and 100 steel plates. 20 construction, we're just gonna build 20 of both those construction points and motors because I don't remember which one needed which. So 20 of those, 20 of those, and we need 100 of those. 
and you can click for just building where double click for one you can control click for 10 and then you can shift click for 100 and then I believe yep control shift click gives you a thousand for little shortcuts there they come in handy when, when I have to manually queue up a thousand plates that would be a little bit tedious that would just be the whole episode of me just clicking get our base done here soon in which case after we have the power sorted out and the basic and basic assembly refineries we can start thinking about our rover oh and the battery as well we need to make sure we're storing up that power which I guess that's one thing about building a rover is they're kind of hard to dock to well that's not actually where I wanted to go they're kind of hard to dock to stations. It's possible. It just takes a little bit more doing. Oh, I want actually these plates done first, if at all possible. It's not going to be possible. There's not enough iron. Oh, actually, I want these done first. Do I? Yes, I do. Um, so there is some merit to actually building a ship before um, a rover, so we'll probably do that. As well as, like, I was thinking, my test game, like I said, I had done a rover to go find out the, find the ore deposits. And I just kept on thinking to myself, like, why not just put our base on a giant rover then? At that point. I think what we're gonna do, what sounds fun, is we'll build a mining ship first, just so we can go and get the ores that we need. And then when we build a rover, it'll just be a massive rover that we can put our base on. And just take everything with us instead of having to continually come back to the base to drop off the ores that we mine. I think that's what we'll do and then eventually once we have enough ores and, and components and everything we're ready we can just convert that rover into a spaceship Let's put some um, thrusters and whatnot on it and we should be good to go just take off from there we'll have our large ship already built that will basically take us to the outer reaches of our little galaxy and we'll go explore the other planets mine some asteroids Maybe we'll raid some of those NPC ships, which honestly, I cannot wait to do. Let's raid some of those ships and just cannibalize them and add them to our own ship. That sounds like fun. And at least there's some interesting ship design too. Yeah, I was say, it looks like we've run out of iron. Let's wait for this to finish up real quick, because there's not much left. <clears throat> well, I'm just going to run back into the hole real quick and make sure we got all the stone. I left two little pieces. Okay. Right. And that amount of time it should have. It wasn't really worth going back for. But it should have finished up our um, plates. So, there you go. Now we can build our refinery here. And here you'll get to see that example of um, the functional line. You can see at the top of the components required there's 20 steel plates. But those aren't actually required, they're just additional armor and health for the unit. See? Fully functioning. It works. We can put stuff in it and we'll refine. Totally fine. But if I were to, I give me one second. Ow. Okay. Inventory. Alright, 
So I went and grabbed, there's a gun in the drop pod. Um, I went and grabbed it and with this guy here, he's fully constructed. I can shoot him a couple times and he's fine, still has 96% health, you know, all good. I'm going to regret doing this, I know it. But if I shoot this guy a few times, you can see he's already down below the functional line. He does not work. See, base refinery incomplete. He's broken. Yep, need computers now. Ow. Let's see if we have. I'm going to need to build some more. Luckily they're not too hard and already have the components we need. I think we needed four. So. I don't know why when I'm flying I tend to hold down shift. I, that's not the button to go up. The button to go up is... um. What am I doing? The button to go up is spacebar. There we go. See? Back in function again. So we're just going to go ahead and make a new little mine. I don't want to go too far, but I also don't want to like ruin our base by digging here. This can probably just be right here. Let's dig a little hole. I just don't want all this. That's not bad amount of stone. I want to get a little bit deeper. Actually, not also not how I want to be digging here. So, same rules apply in other games like Minecraft or whatever. We got mine. Generally, don't want to mine straight down. It's not the same risks involved, but it's similar knowledge or similar kind of uh, logic. If you mine straight down, then there's a giant hole that you can fall down, and there is some pretty unforgiving fall damage in this game. So as well as like I know you'll say, but what about your jetpack? Which yes, jetpack does work, but if you run out of fuel in your hole, then you're out of fuel in your hole, so that's a bit of a problem. Okay, I'm gonna put this in there and look how much quicker that well actually I didn't put it all in, but so much quicker. You get better yield I believe out of it as well. And on the basic assembler, there's actually only one port. These little ports will transfer resources through them, and there's only one on the assembler, unfortunately, so we'll have to access it through here. As you can see right there. And see, we have access to many, many more um, components that we can build now, in which case we're going to actually build, I think we need 40 power cells for the, the battery. You see it's going to start pulling those resources through to start making those power cells for us because they're connected by those yellow ports. I'm sorry I didn't actually show it when I was constructing. That would have been smart of me. Oh, we need 80 power cells. Dang. need uh, 25 computers, 30 construction components. Let me just queue those up and see. 25 comp computers, 30 construction components. 80 power cell thingies and we're gonna need a whole bunch of steel plates I'm sure yep 80 what are we gonna do? oh I almost had it yeah, so we'll just let that go and do its thing for now and uh, in the meantime I'm going to go and try to find some ore deposits because I should be able to find some by just flying around um, and I'll bring y'all back once either that's done or I find some more deposits. Well, dang, I really wish we'd built our base up here. Like, look at that view. Wow. Let's see, those plants should all be explorable as well. I think that's a moon. We should actually have a moon as well somewhere. Hey, look, silicon. I actually didn't plan that at all. I honestly got distracted by the view, and there happened to be silicon below us. Let's 
gonna go and try to find the best way to get to that and like I said there should be clumps of three materials together usually so there should be something else around this silicon and hopefully as we drill closer to it we'll actually get a hint at what else is around but this is actually not a terrible find we're not terribly far away from the base either so I'm happy with this there should be other stuff other than ice around this so. bit. Where'd you go? Yep. Whew. Look at that ore. And a good tip for when you're mining is um, to hold down the F button, which is just the button you push to collect the ore. But because as you can see, it just pops out in chunks like that so if you hold down the F button it'll kind of collect a lot of that that pops out in chunks and you don't have to look around and collect it all afterwards it doesn't collect all of it so you'll still have to get some of it off the ground but it helps a lot to get the, um, some of the chunks, most of the chunks that pop out hmm. I'm surprised we haven't found any more boards around here I'm almost positive we would find some. Inventory Okay. One crouch. Oh no. I didn't realize we were digging down so much. Okay, so we're gonna need a little bit of jetpack there. Ah! Why does that keep on happening? Okay. And generally when you find these deposits, it's good to go ahead and go into your, uh, hit the K button to go into your menu. And you go over here into GPS, click um, new from current uh, position, wow, words. And you just write down what you found here and make a little marker so you'll be able to find it. See, silicon. And uh, if you already start mining, it's good to put the marker where your actual like mining hole is. That way you can find your where you mined that from. If you put it just above the marker, but you dug somewhere else and it's kind of hard to find. That was ice, I think. See, and we're less than a kilometer. Oh my God, I almost hit the tree. Um, <laughs> we're less than a kilometer away from our base, so we're not doing too bad on distance here. Um, let's go ahead and put the silicon in as well as that. Um, we'll see how well, yeah, we got a lot of the components done for the the, the uh, battery. There we go. I blanked really hard on that. But not all of them. We need some more iron, which I was really hoping we'd find. Unfortunately, we did not. So, um, I'll go ahead and go back out and search for iron again. It shouldn't be too far from the silicon. And I'll bring out back when I find something. Hey guys, welcome back. So, I'm a huge dumb. I was flying around looking for iron and I was like, you know what, I'll go to that unknown signal and see what it's all about. And so I'm flying over there and I just happened to catch out of the corner of my eye there was a cobalt deposit. Now, cobalt is necessary for atmospheric thrusters um, to make girders, which atmospheric thrusters need. As well, or actually not girders. I think it's a small, um, small grid plate things. Yeah, something like that. As well as, and it's necessary in atmospheric thrusters. As well as, um, I think medium cargo container, probably large as well. I'm sure. And so I'm flying around, and I found a cobalt deposit just randomly, which uh, super. This is wait, wait, no, come back, no, wait, stop it. Okay, see, you did that, not me. I didn't make you do that. Now quit rolling. This is a good find. Take all that. Button panel. Can I push the button panel? Toggle 
lock on. Yes, please. I don't know why the button's not working. Ooh, that was a bunch of interior components. Antenna, I'll take that. There you go. Ooh, I got a lava welder. It's a cute little drone. So anyway, I was flying around, saw the cobalt. So I was like, you know what, this is important stuff. It's hard to find, it took me hours to find in my test game, so I will take it with me. And I started running low on power, so I was like, I need to go home. And so I started going home, and I'm halfway home, and I realized, I, there's a sensor. Yeah, and I realized I didn't mark where that location was. So, found cobalt, got some cobalt, now I don't know where the cobalt's at. I think it was up here a little bit maybe. There's ice. I mean luckily I mined a full, a full harvest of it before I ran back. So like I have a bunch and it should last me a good little while. But. Yeah, I think it came down from this way actually. So I'll just fly up this way and see if I can find it again. But yeah, maybe maybe I'll go back and watch the recording and see if I can figure out where it's at from that, but it's just a little disappointing I would lose such a valuable find like that. I even told my like I started mining it out and I was like, okay, when I leave I gotta remember to mark the hole so I can find it again. And I freaked out because I had low suit energy and I didn't mark it. Actually, it might have been up here more still. Might have been. <clears throat> Ow. Nope. <clears throat> it's gone. I lost it. I'm a dumb. Yep, that's an interesting colored planet. Yeah, so that was unfortunate, and I still have yet to find iron, which is odd. Iron is so common, or at least it was in my test game. I found it literally everywhere. I don't know. I might be just doing something wrong. Maybe I'm flying by too fast. There we go. So as I keep on continuing to like stop my jetpack and then. I'll not come to a complete stop and I'll just keep on like skidding along so it's weird detector components why do I have detector components like I'm not gonna complain cuz I might just I might build a let's have this done I might build a large ore detector on this and see if there's any deposits nearby but that might also just be a waste at this point. There's probably not going to be much. Um, well, I'm going to continue my search for iron. I'll bring it back when I find it. Hey guys, welcome back. So, this, this little outing is turning out to be more of a disaster than I was expecting. We ran into another silicon deposit up there. And that's what had some magnesium attached to it. So, I was flying around that looking for an iron vein hopefully and didn't find one so I continued on flying around and flying around it was great you know finding absolutely nothing but ice which is fine whatever you know and well if you look in the bottom left corner that big red H2 that means I'm about out of hydrogen and what I'd been doing I was flying around with this little hydrogen bottle so I was refueling my jetpack so I was fine but it doesn't really alert you when the bottle's getting low. So I didn't realize it was getting low. And I refilled from it for the last time. The bottle was empty. And I was like, oh, okay, I have plenty of fuel. You know, I'll refill again. And um, 
it, 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 it didn't refill again, so I'm out of hydrogen, which is my jetpack fuel. And I was about two kilometers out from base. Um, I just ran a kilometer. About when is the sun gonna come back up? Ran about a kilometer now. And still have another kilometer to go to get home. So that's how my um my evening is going. My night why is it so bright out? But there's no sun. Kinda of wondering if I'm like really close to the poles, so like I'm getting these weird length days. That might be what's going on. Just like I see no sun, but it is very bright here. Yeah. But on the bright side, I'm taking this as an opportunity to slow okay. To slowly comb over this land and see if there's any iron deposits that I might have missed because I was flying too fast. It gives me a nice little lay of the land of where we're living too. It looks like we're like really on top of a mountain. Yeah. It also occurs to me that I have the days set to two hours. So if the sun comes up that means I've been playing this for about two hours. Or longer. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that, given the progress that I've made on the base. And the lack of iron that I've found. Which, honestly, at this point, I honestly should just start mining stone again. Just so we can get some progress going, because otherwise I'm just going to fly around all day long. Like a literal day, not game day. And find no iron and get nothing done oh there's base hi home it's quite the run luckily my energy didn't uh, run low can I take off my helmet? I can't take off my helmet just fine what does O do? I think that's my broadcast signal. No, 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 no. Stop. Okay. I don't know why that keeps happening. But now I'm out of fuel, so if it happens again, I'm just gonna fling off of this mountainside and die. I'm gonna be very careful. Ooh, ooh, ooh. E. Okay. Um, let's be a little smart about this. It's not my forte, but I have my moments. Home sweet home. And still no iron to be spoken of. Yeah, no iron to be spoken of. Also, I just realized too, I didn't check on the... This is outputting 341, but this so these both can't run at the same time. Required input, max required input. Interesting. I completely forgot to consider that, but that's okay. We'll put up another wind turbine in the future sometime. It's not direly important. This is not the right cargo container. So that's the cargo container, and this is the oxygen H2O2 generator. This will refill the. Okay, we're out of ice. And mine some ice. As well as stone. And just overall need to mine. I think I mentioned a large portion of your first day in Space Engineers, I mean, like in game day, is going to be just mining and getting resources accumulated so that oops nope don't want to do that I wanna, if you right click it'll just um, dig a tunnel great tunnel um, crouching. it'll just dig a straight tunnel it won't give you like resources from it which is a good way to get down to the the materials you want to be mining instead of just mining the topsoil 
or if you're looking for an ore deposit, instead of just mining all the stone all the way there, you'll not get any of that stone and you'll just be able to get to the ore deposit quicker. Left clicking is just your typical mine, it'll give you all your resources, it's a little bit slower but you get the resources obviously. So, you know, pros and cons. You can actually double click um, either one of those and it'll just stay on automatically and you don't have to hold it. Or you can just hold it, I mean, it's entirely up to you, it doesn't even, it's personal preference. Turn it off though. Inventory. Put this stone in. What is drawing? Are we making stuff? Oh. It's trying so hard to make stuff. Okay, so we're going to. Oh, did we remake all the iron? Pass the iron in there then. I'm just gonna pass all of this into the machine so we can start maybe make nope we need nickel. Do we have any nickel? We have a bit of nickel. Okay, I'll just go mine some more because that comes out of the stone, I think. Nice little trail of stuff that you can pick up. I got mine it all again. Inventory full. Can you put a little ramp on this side? Yeah, it gives a little bit of nickel. I'll get us going. I just need 30 nickel. Oh, you know what? Let's see. It's because we can't run both at the same time. So, what we're going to turn that off for now. And let the assembler do its job for a little bit. Energy low. Eventually, we want to take this and try to fly it back. What am I doing? Can I fly it now? Let's see. Atmospheric thrusters. Is there a. What's it called? Gyroscope. There's no gyroscope on board, so we can't fly it back. I mean, I guess we could, but it wouldn't go well, so there's no real point to it. That's fine. This can just live here for now. We don't really need it up there at the base. See how this is going. Eighteen to go. Fun. I only need eight more. Oh, and then we'll be done with that. There it is. All done with the battery. Well, mostly done with the battery. And yeah, it'll start storing up power, and that power. We'll actually be able to power both these machines at once. But on that note, I think it would be a good idea to put more power. That one, which we need steel plates for. Do we have steel plates? Plates. We do have steel plates. Look at that. It's almost like I planned it. Which I didn't. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, one more. Yeah. I'm not clever enough to have planned that ahead. That'd be ridiculous. Oops. Did that on the last tower, too. Okay, um, two more? Yeah, one more. There we go. That should be about the same height. That looks about right. Put seven. And let's see how much we can build this. Oh, almost can build the whole thing. We just need some girders. Where did that block end up? Oh, it's down there. It can live down there. It's fine. 
Let's see, girders, girders, girders. Ten girders should be more than enough. Okay, well it helps if we have the iron. Um, well, what we can do is we can go in here and disassemble some of these um, power cells that we have. Since we don't need them all, we already have our battery working. So, let's go ahead and do that for now. And... Let's see if that was enough to get the girders. Yes, it was. No, 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 no. Build the girders. You would do that to me. Let's do a couple. Just assemble a couple of those. Dang, those take a lot of... Uh, Iron, dang, take seven iron. Whoa, whoa, oh, okay, actually, no, that was fine. That's whatever. Okay, let's go finish up our wind turbine. Meow. Oh, I needed more girders than I thought. 16 of 24, which means I need eight more. I thought I built. Oh, there, man. I'm. I'm done. How much does characters take? Oh, it takes one, so. These are pretty cheap to build. Luckily. Only problem is these are really high up, so every time I have to. Where did it. Didn't I? Where did I do? Did I build small steel tubes instead? I built small steel tubes, didn't I? I did. Well, you know. Never said I was a smart man. Yep. And we have power. So now we should be able to out. Should be able to turn our refinery back on. And there he goes. And they should both be working. Yep. And because we're not building anything, it's not drawing the full power load. But if we were, it would be. That seemed pretty self explanatory, but. Take a quick look. See, it's drawing the full power load because we're actually using both of the machines now. Are we still producing? Oh, we ran out of components already. And that also means that this guy here is going to be recharging as well. It takes six hours to recharge, and then it'll help to power the whole base once, you know, everything. You're gonna want to eventually put a cargo container here. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of awkward. I guess we can do a bottom fed cargo container or a top fed. But that's just planning for in the future. Once we have our mining ship, we're gonna want a, a way where we can, instead of hand filling the sh the ores from the ship into the base, we can automatically do it using a connector and storage containers. Let's just plan ahead. Let's see. Let's go check out that unknown signal real quick. Maybe there'll be some iron over here. Never know. Is this one of the ones that's gonna run away from me again? I think it is. See, I was trying to be clever. If I destroyed the the engine on it, then it can't run away. But at the same time, why can't I hit the button? At the same time, then I can't salvage the components from it either. I don't know why it's not working. Oh, is it 
another button panel on that side. Let's see if I can roll it over without having it go all the way down the hill. There we go. Special content. Oh, I didn't find anything. I guess that's just what happens when the button's been pushed. It's weird because I definitely didn't push the button. It's okay though, these have good components on them. Still no iron. It's really unfortunate. <clears throat> so that happened. Okay, so I guess that'll be the first death of the series. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it's bound to happen sooner or later, especially the way I've been flying around. Dang, first episode. Okay. Well... I think we're gonna end it here with our base construct, or not constructed, but the basics of our base. Haha, <laughs> get it? Basics is the basic refinery and assembler. <laughs> oh, and the sun's coming up too. Somewhere. It's probably over there. Um, sorry. Easily distracted. So, we're probably gonna end it here for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed, and in the future episodes, we will develop this base up a little bit more. I'll probably do some off camera, get these ground down, as well as, um, mine some more stone to get iron um, as well as hopefully find an iron deposit but i hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you all next time bye